Because it's too loud. Because it's not loud enough. Because it's hopefully just right. If you can hear me, it's working. We won't know till later. Look what they were selling yesterday. Anything to get Lakers fans to buy Timberwolves merchandise, right? But it was on sale. And it's a pretty color. I kind of like it. It's also ginormous. I'm glad it came in ginormous. It's another week. It's Monday, January 30th. It is 5.45, and it's 38 degrees. It did hit 40 today. In fact, it hit 40... Why don't I pull it up? Because I'll get it wrong. It hit 43 today. I should have worn shorts. I did not. And all my black slacks are in the laundry, uh, because I forgot to do laundry yesterday. So... It's a rare, uh, it's a rare jeans day for me. See my jeans? Here they are. Right here. Over here. Pull all the way up. There you go. Want to see my, want to see my butt? Sure you do. It's not going to happen. Anyway. Another week in another video. And I already forgot to, uh, hit my stopwatch. So I have no idea how long I've been going. Although I said 545. And that was pretty close to the start. So... We'll assume. It probably won't matter because I don't think I have a lot to talk about today. Although, who knows? I say that and then I get going and then the next thing you know it's 10 minutes and it's like, oh my god. Timberwolves were down by 18 to the Lakers yesterday with five minutes to go in the third. And coach put Anthony Randolph in and I was like, okay, he's throwing up the white flag and it's over. And yet, it wasn't over. Randolph played pretty good. They came back slowly, slowly. They were getting their point a minute. The next thing you knew, it was 91-90. Is that what it was? Yeah. And then the Lakers came back to tie it up almost immediately. Timberwolves had a 94-93 lead and ended up losing 106-101. And it actually wasn't that close because... There were some garbage points where Timberwolves got a quick steal and an inbound and had five points they shouldn't have had. So really it was, they were down by 12 when it was meaningfully over. So streaky runs. If only they would play in the first half the way they play in the second half. That's what Kevin Love said, and he's right. But going to a game and feeling like, man, we should have got at this one. And we're talking about the Lakers who admittedly aren't great on the road this year, but are in general still the Lakers. And Kobe's still Kobe. God, I hate that guy. But things are looking up. Got Houston tonight, and I don't know if I'm going to watch the whole thing. I probably will. It's very tempting to live blog Raw, because that's when I get the most Twitter feedback and the greatest chance of new followers. And I, I'm trying to pretend that that isn't important, but being stuck under 500 when some really stupid people are in the thousands. I mean, I know what they do to do that, and I'm not going to do that, so it's kind of why it doesn't matter. And it's been so many weeks of me not live blogging Raw. Although, this is the Raw after Royal Rumble. Interesting stuff may happen, and I may wish I'd watched it live. I don't know. I guess we'll just see how the game's going. The game starts... Does the game start at 6? Hmm. I don't know. So the game may be mostly over by the time Rock comes on if it starts at 6. No, the game's on at 7 because it's in the central time zone. We're playing the Rockets in Houston. So it'll start at 7. It'll be about half. It'll be probably half time by the time that uh, Raw starts. So we'll just have to see how it's going and what Kim thinks. Now that Brad Miller's playing, we kind of have to watch every minute because you never know when Brad's going to come in. Brad came in for the first time yesterday. He had four minutes in the first half and about four minutes in the second half. And I got a picture off, and I was going to tweet it with a this is happening tweet. But the problem was that there were so many Lakers fans around me that they sucked up all the 4G, and my poor phone couldn't uh, do the TwitPic thing. So I ended up having to wait until we were out outside the Target Center to do a delayed tweet. So impact was lost. But if you want to see a picture of Brad Miller... In a game, in a Timberwolves 52 jersey, seek out my tweet from last night. How do you find me on Twitter? I have no idea. 
a correction from Friday. I knew I was going to get it wrong, and I did. Robbie Gordon did not race for Mr. Hendrick. He wrote, he raced for Richard Childress, Richard Childress Racing. And, in fact, according to Wikipedia, from which we get all knowledge, Mr. Childress invited him back, and Robbie said, no, I'm going to go do my own thing. So it wasn't even that he had a falling out. He had an open invitation, much as I did with a certain website, but I decided to leave and do my own thing. Of course, in my instance, I really didn't want to keep working for them for what they felt like paying. This is a long, old story you've heard a thousand times. So it was better to make nothing on my own site than to make the pittance at the other place. And that other place shut down within four months of me leaving. Coincidence? Probably. No, well, you never know. What did I forget to say last week? There were questions about the All-Star Game. And by the All-Star Game, I don't mean the Pro Bowl, which was last night, and I didn't watch, and I never watch, because the AFC always wins, and it makes me unhappy as an NFC fan. But the NHL All-Star Draft, this was from Doug, where I pounced on his Robbie Gordon comment but failed to answer any of his questions. His questions were, what are your thoughts on the NHL All-Star Draft? Could that work in the NBA, or would the egos get in the way? If you're unaware, the NBA All-Star Draft, the, NF the NHL All-Star Draft, has basically sandlot rules, where they have two captains, and they pick their teams from the pool of players. And it's, yeah, it's interesting. I'm not enough of a hockey guy to really appreciate it the way other people do. But it, I did catch the replay of the draft, and I totally missed the game. So I hear that... Uh, who had the hat trick? Was it a wild guy? Was it Gabrick for the Rangers? I'll look that up later. That's not important. But anyway, um, where was I going with that? To answer the question, could the NHL All-Star Draft type deal work in the NBA or would the egos get in the way? The egos would get in the way, and that's why it must happen. It would be a train wreck of epic proportions. It would be glorious. Charles and Kenny and Shaq would have words on it. It would just be just so great. I wish we could get it to happen. Stern would never let it happen, though. He's not fun that way. So the big pause. The big Chinese New Year dinner was actually last Saturday, not the Saturday before. So we went to the restaurant and had all sorts of really excellent, awesome food that must have been cooked in peanut oil because I am breaking out something fierce. And I don't know if it was the fried rice that I made at home. Probably not. I don't use a lot of oil on Friday. But Chinese New Year, I think, and probably eating at Arby's on Sunday. But you would know all about where I ate if you followed me on CRZ.net where I do all my four square check-ins and get them thrown up. Uh, that's also why I have this wonderful shape that you see now from all that food I've been eating. But I don't know. It's, we're in medium depth, so you can't really tell how badly I've broken out, but it's pretty spectacular. I need to shave, too. Maybe I'll get that done tomorrow. And uh, tune in tomorrow and see if I've shaved. For those of you keeping track, I washed my hair on Sunday after a nice long bath, very relaxing, where I caught up on my illegally printed out observers because I wanted to be all up uh, on the wrestling before Royal Rumble. People ask me for Royal Rumble predictions. People ask me in general for pay-per-view predictions, and I don't really do them. One, because I'm awful at them, and two, because... I try not to think too hard about it going in and watching it. And I do eventually watch them, although sometimes I don't pay for them. But the one thing that I was interested in was would Rob Van Dam show up again like he always seems to do. He is under TNA contract until March, but you kind of thought maybe they'd let him out or they would just put him in as a big FU. But then I remembered that because the Horsemen are going into the Hall of Fame, they have to play nice with TNA until TNA gives permission for Flair to show up for their Hall of Fame deal. So that kind of put Rob Van Dam out of it. Steve Blackman had some kind of 
strange tweets that made you think, hey, maybe he's going to show up, or maybe he's just trying to go into business for himself. I didn't really think he was going to show up, but it would have been cool if he had. It would have been cooler than Road Dog. I think I'm over 10 minutes. I should probably stop. And I didn't get to any of the other stuff. JJ Dean, I'm sorry I didn't include you in the NASCAR demographic. Of course. You're a quintessentially NASCAR demographic, even though you don't write about it. You write about NASCAR like I write about wrestling. You don't do it. There were two suggestions from both JJ Dean and Staggerly for Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I will probably pick up one. I've been meaning to because I've been seeing their ads. I don't know what channel, but you know those ads where they say, I put that shit on everything, except they don't say shit. Very entertaining. So on the basis of that ad alone, I should probably pick one up and try it. And Flea wants a new thread. We're going to have a new thread. Uh, we got to 100 posts. So that was going to be my limit. I may break it up further. But 20 is actually you know, not a bad, nice round number to start a new thread on anyway. So we'll do that. And, in fact, I'm going to go post it right after I upload it, hopefully right now. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, I apologize for going over. I know, Cerebus, you're delighted. But everyone else, I apologize. But we'll, we'll see you tomorrow.